you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it live. GR here for Player Base. This is the second shot of this video. First one had some audio problems. This video is about how to create a character in three questions, 21 words or less. Real simple, real quick. The purpose of this video is, especially when you're starting out, analysis paralysis and just the paralysis of being overwhelmed by choice, you know, oh, what could I do? How could I make somebody? What would be cool? I don't know what to do. That kind of thing's real common. So we're gonna go over three questions. Pause the video if you need to, probably won't. Write down the answers. Post them in the comments if you like. If you gotta do this more than once, do it as many times as you want. I'll explain at the end of the video why, but the short answer is, because this is to get it out of your system and to get it out of your way so you're not all jumpy and confused by trying to work out what kind of character to develop. So, first question on how to develop a character. Write down in as few words as possible what you imagine to be the most exciting and engaging action this character could possibly be in. Now, that could be something as simple as you know, a wizard battling a demon uh, in a uh, contest of spells on a bridge. It could be a diplomat giving an impassioned speech to neighboring rulers attempting to uh, stop the onset of a catastrophic war, which would be disastrous for his people, either in terms of the cost physically or spiritually. It could be a ranger, um, maybe like a dwarf in a mountain hold, who is hewing down just a throng of orcs on a snowy mountainside. Just whatever comes to your mind. Use action words, verbs, adverbs, as many as you have. Don't have to describe the character. You don't have to know anything about the character. Just, oh, what would be cool? Second one. How did this character get here? I'll give you a couple of examples. This is just real, like what was the previous scene or two scenes back? How do they get to this situation? Like for the dwarf, were they on a regular patrol? Uh, are they a ranger for their mountain hold? Um, or are they just coming back from a trip? Whatever it was. Uh, and what, kind, what was the trip about? Like whatever comes to your mind. You know, is the, the diplomat a member of the royal family uh, where they sent out uh, on a dispatch, which was routine, or did they see something uh, that caused them to get on horseback and run to the next kingdom? Whatever, again, comes to your mind. And, you know, maybe the wizard was down on his luck and needs money because <laughs> it's broke. Took the first job available. Again, this one, more adjectives, uh, but just as little, you can just do seven words, you know? Guy needed the money today or else. Hyphenated. That's, oh, no, that's seven words, or else. Now, the third question. What situation in their life led up to this point? Was the dwarf a member of a military caste where they trained to be a ranger from birth? Um, is that just the type of training that all dwarves get and they're a merchant or a craftsman or whatever? Like, how did they get to the point where they would get in, they would have the skills to engage in this situation and what type of life situations got them to the point where this kind of situation would come up to begin with? You know, same for the diplomat, perhaps they're from a royal family and were trained for this from birth, perhaps they're trying to, they're really invested in avoiding the repeating of previous mistakes in their history or, you know, again, just like, hey, doesn't want history to repeat itself. Real simple, you know, real short. Oh, and for the last one, you know, maybe the wizard uh, had controlling parents and was put in magic school against their will. Went to Istari warts despite protests, you know. Okay, 
Now that you got those three, here's how that breaks down. The first one is what you imagine or desire a game to be about. So it makes clear for you and, and this is the trick, more importantly for your dungeon master, what your expectations are in terms of what you're looking to get out of the game. Some people just want to hew down orcs. Other people want to get into really involved, tense, diplomatic lines of political force. Some people have personal family dramas and that's really what they want to play out. Explaining that with the action allows the dungeon master to see what it is you're looking for and also to show you. The second one lets both you and the dungeon master know what kind of tone and setting you're expecting. This can be really important when you're trying to align expectations and also what the provisions are up with each other. That's real important. And the third one, well, that just gives the Dungeon Master loads of plot hooks to tie your story into their story and into the other players' stories. And so, as promised, the reason why doing a bunch of these, if you need to, to get it out of your system is good is because when you go to the Dungeon Master's table, they'll have a variety of choices to pick from and to work with you on what would best suit the story or the game that they're presenting in terms of tone, expectation, also what connects in, all that kind of stuff. Now, especially if you don't know what would be best, putting down a bunch of the things that you think would be best in only 21 words or less, that allows you to see it and to not invest too much time, effort, and energy and lose focus and get distracted or get exasperated uh, before you see, without having to do a whole bunch of math on a character sheet, oh, okay, this is what I want. You know, the kind of game that I like to play isn't always the game that's available, and so being able to describe and enunciate that in terms of what I'm looking for, but also what the Dungeon Master might have for me, that's really important. All right, so speaking of Dungeon Masters, tomorrow, the video, which is already shot, may have to be shot again, which is about how to do this in a group setting, is going to be more Dungeon Master related, but it's going to be just as quick and just as easy. All right, so for now, I'm GR, it's player base, uh, and we don't just talk about D&D, &D, but we do like talking about D&D, &D, so uh, 